I know what you're thinking about. I know what you're thinking about work. I know what you're thinking about school. I know what you're thinking about all the time. Hello again, everyone. This is Grandolf coming to you again. Um, been away for a while. Been playing a whole bunch of betas and messing around with stuff. MechWarrior Online specifically. And couldn't say anything about it until the NDA lifted a couple weeks ago. Um, finally getting my stuff together here. So, uh, MechWarrior Online. Uh, it's going open beta on the 29th. So I figured this was about time to put this video up. Um, so some things on how to use the, uh, the Stromo with... Uh, MechWarrior Online and the way the key bindings and game system works. Uh, not really an overview of how to play MechWarrior Online, just setting up in the Stromo with the game. The usual. So, some quick intro stuff. Um, first off is the key bindings here in MechWarrior Online. Um, not as robust as I would like. Uh, they don't support... Uh, the, the system is hit or miss support for uh, modified key bindings like Shift 1 and Control 2 and stuff like that. So a lot of the modified key bindings that I've used for like uh, World of Warcraft and other games, um, not so much in here. Um, so it took me a while fiddling around and uh, basically at this point I'm using three of the color modes on the N52, I'm sorry, the Nostromo, <laughs> flash the past there, uh, to uh, control all the key bindings um, and functions in the game. Uh, and the uh, basic groupings of commands here in the game are uh, movement, um, and you'll notice it's throttle up and throttle down, not forward and backwards. The game does handle mm, not like you're controlling a person. I kind of like it. Uh, you're definitely driving a tank on legs. Um, but turn left and right, um, no strafing, um, center torso, some for issue, uh, movement controls up in here. Uh, weapon groups uh, control, uh, which uh, uh, using the N50 there, boy, I really want to call it that, Nostromo to uh, control all the weapons groups, uh, which makes for uh, very fluid fire control uh, versus, um, there's a thing in here for uh, fire selected weapons groups, so it's possible to toggle three weapons groups and then select and fire them that way with the mouse. Um, yeah, being able to just fire the weapon group is much faster. Um, then there's uh, systems in here for uh, assigning weapons group. Um, so up, down, left, right, and then I'll show that to you in game. Um, but so you got keybinds for controlling that. Alpha strike. There's some camera modes: uh, zoom, uh, night vision, thermal. Um, and yes, you can go to thermal and then zoom, which is pretty cool. Um, some chatting option keybinds. Uh, those are pretty much all kept on the keyboard. But anyway, and then some redundant ones: uh, torso twist, controlled by your mouse; pitch, controlled by your mouse as well; throttle. Well, if you got throttle up and down, you're good. Turn on the D-pad again. Invert throttle. I guess if you want to invert your Y-axis. Um, in this, it doesn't make sense, but whatever. Um, target overlay. Still starting trying to figure that out what that, exactly that does, but. Um, there's a keybind for it. Um, this does have joystick support. At present, it's crap. Um, Piranha Games has said they're working on it. It is a priority, but um, there's a lot of other priorities that come first. So you can throw a joystick on, but it's going to behave like a D-pad, not like an actual analog joystick, which is kind of a shame. Uh, this game really is meant to be played joystick, but you can work just fine mouse and Stromo. All right. So, those are all those key bindings. Let's get into the N52. Yes, I know. The Stromo. I'll get it right yet. Alright, um, let's see. No, 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 no. Manage profiles. Too many profiles! Alright. So, let's see. So in here we're using uh, blue, we're using the three keybinds, but in the three default ones, blue, red, and green. Um, blue is our combat. Um, red is our interface controls, so that's like uh, camera controls, uh, the map, that kind of stuff. And then green for weapons grouping. Um, and all of the move-overs to the other keybinds are 
here on the pinky row, so instead of modifier shift control and alt like in my World of Warcraft mode model, this is um, blue mode, or I'm sorry, red mode and green mode toggles. So holding that down switches it over to that toggle, press the buttons you need, and release, and it comes back to blue for combat. Um, so let's work through movement. Key bindings up here, the standard uh, forward, backwards, turn left, turn right, up, down, left, right, off the D-pad. Um, full stop. Uh, this does have a throttle, so you set it at a speed and you will walk in that speed until you hit something. So this has a full stop system, brake on zero. Um, your torso, because you can look besides where your torso, your feet are actually walking, uh, you control your torso with your mouse. Um, it's easy to lose track of where you're actually running at any one time. And I have had instances where I've actually wound up um, facing a full 180 degrees off and walking backwards without realizing it. Um, so center torso on the mouse, and that brings you back to um, align your torso with your feet so you actually know where you're walking. Um, jump jets on mouse 5. Um, I have a 5 button mouse but this allows me to keep the jump jets off of the Nostromo, all the movement pretty much on the uh, mouse. Um, free look allows you to actually look around inside your cabin. Um, so you can look down at your knees and the controls that don't actually do anything. And it's kind of cool, but you know, yay, get, yay candy. Alright, so that's all that fun stuff. Movement. Okay. Um, so you'll notice up here, okay, so that's D-pad uh, and mouse controls. Okay, so on the Nostromo, on the blue mode, you'll notice we've got numbers, general numbers like the usual. And those are bound to the weapons groups. So you can have six weapons groups in game. Uh, and that allows you to group your weapons up. You know, um, I can have, uh, for instance, uh, my name, uh, Mech, is a catapult. So I've got two LRM-15s and four medium lasers. So I've got um, left LRM-15 on 1, or right LRM-15 on 3, and my 4 medium losers on 2. And so I can toggle 1, 3, 1, 3, 1, 3 at range, and toggle back and forth between launchers. Um, there's a reason you'd want to do that. It doesn't behave the same as tabletop. Anyway, um, but this is really nice because it allows you, once you've actually set up your weapons groups, you can select and, and choose which group you want to fire without actually having to toggle through them and then hit mouse to fire. Um, by default left click mouse is fire weapons and by default everything is alpha strike so you wind up alpha striking your buddies in the back the first time you log in. Watch out for that. Alright, um, so how do you set up your weapons groups? Doop, doop, doop. Key map 3, green. Um, let's see. So you, it's a grid, and I, unfortunately you have to be in a fight and actually look at the, the grab weapons grouping where I'd show you to you now, and I don't want to be in a fight talking about this stuff. So Anyway, um, but you get a grid, and it's got uh, the six, six weapon groups across, all your weapons down. So you move through that grid using buttons it's for up, down, left, and right, and then one to toggle whether it's on or off. Um, so this is bound on weapons from on key map three. So just give myself a left, right, up, down grid, and then a toggle the weapon group here. And right below that on B10 is backspace. Uh, it took me a while to find this. It's a little buried in the notes, and it's not in the key bindings. Um, when you toggle a weapon into a uh, group, so for instance, I can have four medium lasers on my cat on weapons group 2. If I want to set it up so instead of firing all four medium lasers at once, it chain fires through them, so I can just hold it down and it goes 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. Um, that's backspace. Uh, we'll actually change that weapon group into a chain fire group. Um, you can't change that key binding, it's not in here, uh, and it's not really anywhere in the notes. Uh, I had to find it on a YouTube instruction manual, so, um, so that's in here as well. Uh, backspace for chain fire. So that way I can just move left, right, up, down, toggle, and set a chain fire if I want. Um, and if you've got a weapons group with a lot of weapons in it, or a weapon that you just want to be able to just sit and hold and spam, um, you just hold the button down and it just goes fire 
fire, fire. It's good. Uh, really good for high rate of fire weapons. Uh, if you've got like two of them, you just sit and toggle through them back and forth. All right. Anyway, um, Alpha Strike back on equals up in here. Uh, B10 again, um, and that is set up to do exactly what it says. Alpha Strike every single weapon you have. Fire now, uh, assuming they're on cooldown. Um, let's see. Uh, zoom runs. We'll get back to that in a second. Where is I need select target because targeting is a very important in this game. It's Okay, got this. So our next target is minus, and it's that's really not a good description of the command. It's actually target, uh, and it'll cycle through your targets uh, as you press it, or toggle off if there's no other targets. Um, targeting is very important in this game. Uh, if you you can just direct fire uh, anything you can see. Um, however, if you have it targeted, it also um, feeds that information to everyone else on your team, which means all the missile boats in the back can lock on without line of sight and rain missiles down on it from over a kilometer away. So, uh, always target. Always target. So, minus on B05 um, for next target, so that way, you know, this is the one I'm firing at, and everybody else, add on. Uh, focus fire is how you win. If you're not focus firing, you're a pug and you're going to get your ass kicked. All right. Let's see, so weapons groups, next target, alpha strike, uh, what do we have on 7? Seven? 7 is override shutdown. If you get hot enough, your system will start trying to shut down, you have an override shutdown key. So that's down here, um, I don't know, somewhere on this bottom row is a good place. Uh, probably put it in the center, just because, let's do that. There we go. Okay, so that's now actually here in the center. A little more easy to get to. Um, Alright, so we've got our basic commands. Um, scroll up, scroll down, really don't do anything in game. Alright, so uh, escape does the normal, open the win, uh, open menu, close the menu, in game it drops you out of a match, which is a little annoying, but it does. Alright, button 15 in here, um, in combat mode, full stop. In key map 2, it's P, which is toggle power. Uh, in game, you can actually shut your engines off, uh, which if someone has you targeted, will actually drop the targeting. Um, if someone has line of sight, obviously they can still shoot you, but if you've gotten out of line of sight and powered down, missiles will lose their lock. Uh, it's one of the ways you can dodge uh, reign of terror from uh, LRMs. So, normal mode, stop, control mode, power down. All right. So while we're here in red, let's go through this. Um, because this row is being used to modify into these key bindings from blue, they're pretty much turned off. So 1, 6, and 11 are off. Uh, this top row here is the camera settings. So Z for zoom mode, N, N for night vision, and T for thermal vision. So camera modes are in here. Um, let's see, and it's on 5, num slash, oh right, that's our MP divide, that's show target overlay. I should play with that and find out exactly what it does. Anyway, our second row is nums 4, 5, and 6, which I don't think actually does anything right now. It's just bound in here. Oh, here we go. Free look. So I can look around the cabin. Mm, not really a whole lot of use for it at this point. Um, and then B uh, here for uh, the battle map, which again is not in the key bindings, similar to uh, Chain Toggle Fire. Um, and what that will do is bring up the in-game um, uh, full screen map. Uh, so you can see where all units are, where any targeted units are, um, and in theory give commands uh, and waypoints. Um, I've seen it done. Can't figure out how to do it. 
don't know how the controls work. Very aggravating. Gotta figure that out. So anyway, um, so this is UI mode. And then again, uh, weapons grouping controls in here. And the D-pad is left in normal through all three, so that way you can still do movement regardless of which mode you're in. Alright, um, anything else? Let's see, so we have thermal vision, uh, team chat, enter and tab. These are all still on uh, the keyboard. Space to start a chat. Got to drop your hands to the keyboard so you hit space, start it, enter to stop. Scoreboard is on tab and that's on the blue mode. And that's just so you can see what's going on while you're in game. You can see how many people did your team have left, how many people does your opponent team have left. Um, which is actually, there's an on screen HUD item for that as well. Um, I like that. Let's see. Anything else? Yeah, I think that's pretty much the key bindings. Alright. So after this, go into, um, I don't know, probably using it in game, but that's enough for this video. Alright. Good luck. Look forward to seeing you in game. Play well. Most likely kill you next match.